we are going to find sine, cosine, and tangent of pi over 4. All right, well, this should be a very, very, very quick question for you if you know your unit circle. So since you probably were just exposed to the unit circle a week or two ago, um, you may not be able to answer these questions quite as quickly as I can. But as time goes on, um, it should get easier and easier. Okay, so to apply a unit circle question, this is a unit circle question because it's a unit circle angle, you need to be able to locate pi over 4, which is right here. If you can't do it right away, then you're going to have to think about halfway around is pi, and if you cut that into four equal pieces, this would be like 1 fourth pi, 2 fourth pi, 3 fourths pi, 4 fourths pi. So here is where 1 pi over 4 is. That's the location we're talking about. And then the way I like to think of this is it looks like this is exactly in the middle of quadrant 1. So the x value is equal to the y value. And when the x and y are equal, it's square root of 2 over 2 and another square root of 2 over 2. Since it's in quadrant 1, uh, we're going right and up. So x should be positive, y should be negative. And if you have that information memorized from the, oh, I'm sorry, negative, this should be positive. Quadrant one, you're going left and up, right and up. Sorry, I'm not sure why I'm getting those backwards, but right, we're going positive, up, we're going positive. So the reason why we go ahead and memorize that information is because now the x value at that point on the unit circle gives me the cosine. So positive square root of 2 over 2. The y value at that location gives me the sine of that angle, which is also positive square root of 2 over 2. And even though uh, you don't have to memorize tangent values, you do have to know that tangent is sine over cosine. So I could do sine divided by cosine and then I could change it from dividing fractions to multiplying fractions and I get this and those cancel and those cancel so I'm just left with one but of course it's a little bit silly to do all this work down here in white because anything divided by itself is going to be one so right here in the middle of this quadrant uh, tangent would be one also down here tangent would be one tangent in these quadrants are also one except that they have opposite signs, so negative one. But always in the middle of each quadrant, it's always one because sine and cosine are equal. You just have to be careful about the signs.